Objects are real world entities. Anything you can describe in this world is an object. Classes on the other hand are not real. They are just a concept. Class is a short form of classification. classification. A class is a classification of certain objects and it is just a description of the properties and behavior all objects of the classification should possess. Class is like a recipe and the object is like a like the cupcake. We bake using it. All the cupcakes cupcakes created from a recipe share similar characteristics like a shape, sweetness, etc. But they are all unique as well. One cupcake may have strawberry frosting while another might have vanilla. Similarly, objects of a class share similar characteristics but they differ in their values for those characteristics. What does a recipe contain? It contains, it contains the list of ingredients which make up the cake and directions. Similarly, a class contains the properties, attributes of the object and the operations or behavior that can be performed on an object. We look at this brand mobile, right? Uh, class mobile. And it has attributes like price and brand and behaviors are purchase and return item. Consider the below object. Uh, you see a mobile and price 3500 and brand is Kenova. Will you classify it as a mobile or a shoe? Discuss your answer. Classify the below. Uh, we will classify the below object as a mobile because um, it has a price and brand and we have defined that all the objects which have a price and brand are considered to belong to the mobile classification. So remember class is a short form of classification. This object cannot be classified as a shoe because it does not have a material property though it has a price. Thus we can say that this object is an example of or instance of the mobile classification. Under this classification there can be many objects and the object shown above as an instance of or example of it. How many objects can you identify in the below pictures? All these are these are different classification but all these are each one is an object. Look at this. So totally 16 objects. We can easily say how many types or classification of objects we can identify. Two. One is cap, another one is web sketch. Is sound an object? Yes, it is an object because it has properties like pitch, wavelength, uh, frequency and has a behavior like reflection, transmission, etc. Is light an object? Yes, it is also an object because it has attributes like pitch, wavelength, frequency and has behavior like reflection, transmission, etc. A class is defined using the, key, using the class keyword in Python. For example, the below code creates a class called mobile without any attributes or behavior. A simply class and mobile. Built-in classes, like any programming language, Python also has built-in classes. Some of the built-in classes which you have already used or which we have already used are list, date, tuple, set, etc. To create an object, we need a class. The syntax for creating an object is class name and parenthesis, where class name is the name of the class. For example, if mobile is a class, we use mobile of, say parenthesis, this is how we create objects. So you can have mobile one, mobile off, mobile off. You can have a reference variable to these objects. We already discussed that list is an inbuilt class, but did you ever create a list of object using list? List object using list. Object literal is a special syntax through which objects are created and initialized. For example, list uh, for, for, for list, this syntax is a square bracket followed by any number of values of objects separated by comma followed by a closing bracket. So everything is seen as an object here. So the expression you see on the right side of assignment operator is the object literal for list. Object literal for different objects are different to distinguish from each other. For example, if you take uh, you know list, we uh, we create object um, references uh, using square bracket. For a dictionary, we created using uh, curly braces. For a tuple, we created using parenthesis. Only some inbuilt objects can be created using object literals. So this is only for these inbuilt classes. We use literals like this within the parenthesis, within the square bracket and within the uh, curly braces. For the rest of that, we created using the class name. 
how to access value is this a valid code yes we can say that it's a valid code but they're just values without uh, you know storing them in a variable so hence, hence we cannot access them in future just like we need variables to access and use values we need variables to access and reuse objects that we create such variables that are used to access objects are called reference variable so mobile of mobile of this is object right mobile of this is object class name right but these are mobile 1 mobile 2 mobile 3 mobile 3 these are reference variable remember these are reference variable in the below code we are creating the three objects each with its own reference variable we will discuss more in detail about reference variable later if two objects look the same and have the same values can we treat it as a single object no each object is unique and independent of other object just like every person including twins are unique so is every object all objects have an internal unique id just like other or a green card number we can check this using inbuilt id the below code will display the unique number associated with the object the details of how the number is generated and what the number means is beyond the purview of this course but we can access them at a uh, python.org website if you run this it will give us id for mobile one and mobile two both are different look at this how can you create attributes and values for those uh, attributes this can be done using the dot operator the syntax for creating attribute and the value for that is as below a reference variable name dot attribute name is equal to value for example in the below code we are creating two attributes price and brand and assigning them to two objects we have we had created so mobile this is a simple class without uh, any attributes as of now then we create objects a reference variable mobile this is the right side assignment operator is called creating object creation and this is a reference variable with this reference variable we are we assign mobile dot price so if we assign some value we have created and assign it mobile one dot brand again mobile two dot price and mobile two dot brand to access them all you need to do is mobile one dot print which can say mobile one dot brand mobile two dot brand in python we can create attributes for a specific object alone in the below uh, example the mobile one object has an ios ios version which mobile two does not have but which is not possible to create specific attributes for every single object in other programming languages but here we create an object because uh, mobile one uh, price mobile two brand mobile one brand then we add one more attribute name mobile one dot ios version but when it comes to mobile two mobile two dot price and mobile two dot brand but we have not mentioned any version maybe you can have separate for mobile two as well this customization is permitted only in python let's see how this works so we create it look at this if you refer if you visualize this you can understand a class is created now we are creating an instance mobile one is mobile instance and we have a reference variable name mobile one and mobile two respectively now we create a memory space for that mobile one dot price is created and the value is assigned then brand is created the value is assigned then addition to that so this instance has three attributes and those are assigned to it then we create another instance mobile two already created mobile two now we are going to create attributes for that price and samsung this is so one uh, reference variable mobile one has three attributes reference uh, mobile two has two attributes which is not permitted in other language and python has the advantage for that but it is you may not need this uh, most of the time now we are trying to print the value of them the output is here so we are trying to print it using the same operator mobile one dot price mobile one dot brand mobile one dot ios version it is also possible to update value of an existing attribute using a dot operator look at this mobile one dot ios version if you already have assigned and assigned a value as 10 now you like to update you can do that in python if you assign a value to a non-existent attribute it will create that attribute for that object alone for example the below code will create an attribute for mobile to object so this is this is not exist this it, the android version was not uh, it does not exist so when you assign trying to assign marshall milo then it creates such variable look at this 
so we create a mobile uh, instance right then price brand ios version now we are trying to assign update it with now currently it is uh, 10 now we are updating with 11 look at that then uh, mobile 2 dot price 3000 we say and then brand samsung now we are uh, adding another uh, attribute named android version now that is also added to that now we are trying to print them you can print it so when you assign is possible but when you're trying to access uh, you know uh, the attribute which is not available then it says when you're trying to print the value of an attribute which is not available which was not created before then it shows it gives a error message if we try to access a non-existing attribute we'll get an attribute error so here we're trying to access mobile 2.ios version so there is no such uh, attribute exists so when you're trying to access it says a mobile object has no attribute named ios version so you can actually compare this uh, reference variable with a regular variable if it is a reference uh, they, they are very similar to the regular variable only thing is we use reference variable dot the variable name attribute name here look at this uh, variable name is equal to value here reference variable dot attribute name is equal to value so x is equal to 5 here it is m1 dot color is equal to green otherwise m1 dot x is equal to 5 something like that we'll have to give again um, when you try to update simply x is equal to 5 x is equal to 6 again here when you update first time you update with the green then you can try to update with a red no change in that assignment uh, accessing a non-existent uh, th throws an error here also non-existent attributes throws an error a variable can be assigned to another variable value of an attribute can be assigned to another variable when it comes to attribute class and object references so can you guess what will be the output of the uh, below code uh, will it give an error if yes then why if no if no then why, why not look at this here mobile one dot price mobile one dot brand here it is mobile two dot price mobile two dot brand and we have mobile one dot ios version here very minor change mobile two dot ios version n is missing when you're trying to access you're clearly accessing mobile one dot ios version here uh, ios var siu you're trying to access it so the no, no problem raises you'll get the output as 11 11 so it was not made purposely it was a just a spelling mistake ignorance right the spelling mistake creates a new attribute hence we need to be careful when assigning values to attributes of an object the best practice is to ensure all objects of a class have the same set of attributes so we should not have a set of attributes for mobile one and another set of attributes for mobile two we must ensure that every single object instance created shares same attributes very rarely should we create a separate set of attributes for a different objects also languages like java c sharp etc do not allow us to create different set of attributes for different objects like python does uh, we have uh, cre creating common attributes we have already seen the problem arising out of human error in creating attributes individually for objects apart from this problem we also have to deal with the problem of lack of reuse for example if an object has a 10 attributes and we have to we have 10 objects right then we have to write 100 lines of code this is uh, inefficient there is no reuse at all we need a way to mention the attributes of all objects of a class in one place so that we can create and utilize that utilize the attributes let's see how to do this it is quite simple all you need to is you'll have to use a class keyword mobile uh, then you say uh, def init it is we call it as a constructor we let you know what it is uh, then we have a parameter named uh, brand and price so this parameter is an optional one so then attributes are brand and price these are two attributes you would like to have but remember in python it always comes with self keyword self dot brand and self dot uh, price so equal to your sign then you access it you pass the parameter we can actually uh, visualize this later mobile one is equal to the reference variable for the object mobile of apple and uh, 20000 then mobile 2 is equal to mobile of samsung 3000 attributes can be added to a class uh, through a special function called init we'll discuss more about syntax later but for now this is how the mobile class would look like with attributes in the code uh, brand and price are the attributes all objects of the class will now have these attributes automatically here mobile one is assigned apple one and 20000 as a values for the attributes brand and price respectively the parameter names and attribute names need not match here you can say brand here also it not be brand you can have b 
here it is price here you can have prc or only p so these need not match attributes and parameter name need not match